Hello everyone, welcome to this very quick tutorial. It's gonna be like less than 10 minutes. So before we start, I recommend that you go to my previous tutorial on the new Unity input system. Um, but this, I mean, it may not required, but the, the scene is set up over there. But yeah, basically we have a scene with just a main camera and a user interface and some stuff that will not be used. A cube, a plane, doesn't matter. So we have an inventory that I created. It is just a two grid layout groups. And the left one is called left grid and it has a bunch of buttons and you know, it's just a grid layout group. There's nothing magical about it. Um, so we're gonna be talking about Unity's automatic navigation. So what is Unity's automatic navigation? So I'm gonna turn my inventory off because it gets turned on when I press uh, start on my controller. So whenever I turn my controller, my UI on, and I click on a button, then you can see that my controller now moves the UI and it navigates through all the sets that, that you know, the buttons or this could be, you know, hammers or just inventory equipment, uh, potions or whatever you want. So basically it navigates and I press A, then it selects and I didn't do anything. This is included within Unity. If you use the input system and the event system that they provide, as I mentioned in my previous previous tutorial. So what is the catch? So the catch is that whenever I turn this off and I turn it back on, if I don't click, remember I said you had to click, then nothing happens. Like the controller is dead. And that's because when you go to your event system, it doesn't have anything selected. So as soon as I click, it selects something and now I can I can navigate the user interface, right? So what we want to do is we want to prevent that issue. There are many ways to prevent it, but I'm gonna teach you the easiest one and the quickest one, quick and dirty. Um, thinking maybe if there's enough comments uh, that want this to be improved upon, then I can do that. So we're gonna go to the inventory UI controller and we're gonna have a game object first select. We're gonna be using Unity engine dot event systems. And we're going to say uh, on enable, right? Whenever this object is enabled, we will say event systems dot current dot set selected game object first selected. And this will force the user interface to, you know, basically have a a an object that is selected the first time so i'm going to hit in theory if i hit start here yeah, you see that now i can navigate and i can do it again and again of course um there's a little detail when i close and i reopen you see that it's going to pop to the first one again so we're gonna we're going to control that as well so i'm going to have another game object called latest selected right so whenever we on disable private we're gonna say on disable we're gonna say latest selected equals event system that current that currently selected game object and here we will say say latest selected if latest selected is null then the object that we're gonna choose is the first selected otherwise we're gonna say we're gonna choose the latest selected this is the simplest way to do this system of course um now I'm going to go again, hit play. As I said, this tutorial is very, very quick. This is, this is the way to use Unity's automatic navigation. So when I hit here, when I hit B, and now it was selected, it is selected, but it doesn't, you know, glow green. Um, but that's, that's a matter of, you know, basically another day. Um, there are ways to force it to be selected, but I'm not going to do that because that's not the point. Um, so yeah, that's the way you set selected force Unity's navigation system to work. And also, let me show you this. Um, if you go to a button, any button in Unity, and you hit visualize here, you will see this yellow arrows, and that is in navigation. So why do i appreciate the unity uh, free or rather automatic navigation system so much well i can move this over here and the buttons will still navigate i don't have to you don't have to set anything in any way it just straight out of the box works if you comply with these uh with what i just show you it's just you know it's basically 
having this and using a couple lines of a script um so again if you guys want to see more about this uh, i have a system that is about stacking ui so basically when you have uh, i want to do that now because it's a very long tutorial um but if you have an inventory and then you open another inventory and then you open a pop-up window and then you ask the player yes or no you want to be able to navigate through those um points basically so through those inventory so yeah thank you for guys for watching if you need anything don't forget that you can come and come to the stream at twitch.tv slash natural power games